Hey, it's Jeff Timberello with the Southwest Florida RIA here to talk about the December 2018 Lee County, Florida foreclosure trend report. We had 98 mortgage related list pendants uh, pretty much within the channel of what's been going on recently. Uh, previous year was only 34, but that was the aftermath of Irma. Uh, 32 certificates of title pretty much in the channel of what's been happening. Uh, real world, what that means is don't expect a huge influx of bank-owned properties coming anytime soon. This shows the foreclosures by the year. Really, you've got some stuff left over from the last cycle, and then you got 2017. The foreclosures, on average, are huge for 2008, except that when you realize there was only two foreclosures from the vintage of 2008, so one was really big. And then uh, by dollar amounts, with all that said, there's just not a lot of dollar amounts here. Certainly not enough at this point to uh, change the trajectory of the market. This is showing list pendants since 2018. This is since 2015, shows the aftermath of Irma, they stopped filing, and the refiling, the recommencement of the filing from 2013 forward. This shows the market really beginning to normalize. It normalized essentially in 2015 and has pretty much been in this channel ever since. Until we significantly over lever, I don't see it coming out of this channel too much. Uh, total list pendants, this shows the last cycle or the last, the aftermath of the, uh, the mania, I would only wanna call it the boom, and then going forward. Certificates of title transferred since 2015. This is interesting to me because we're not getting a huge increase in certificates of title and the percentage is converting 12 months later significantly going down, which tells me that if you're in distress, the market has come up enough that for the most part you can trade out. Now, when you look at the years of uh, foreclosure, four, five, and six, they're still trapped against uh, the last cycle. In 17, it just hasn't appreciated enough. And most of the mortgages that were bad in 17 are very low money down loans. So there's just not enough equity to trade out of them. So they would either have to let it go to foreclosure, uh, short sale, or bankruptcy. Uh, total certificates of title conveyed, just, just for clarity for the last cycle. Uh, this is by the year from 2010 forward, uh, the sum of the year. From 2006 forward, again, just for clarity on the cycle. Uh, certificates of title, same thing. This is the whole last cycle. Had a really interesting couple years. Can't say enough about the uh, Charlie Green and the clerk of the court staff, how they handled this. It was actually really amazing. And then this is from 2010 forward, the certificates of title. There's just not a lot of bank-owned properties. Uh, the loneliest person on the planet is the Maytag repairman. The next one is probably the bank's REO broker. Top 10 filers, Wells Fargo is number one, Bank America. There's not much of a difference uh, separating everybody. Uh, the lack of certificate of title growth tells me that the market has improved to the point. It's you go bad, if something happens, you generally, if you've got a couple years worth of equity, you can get out of it. Uh, the Irma disruption is over, that is returned back to normal. Uh, the current trend of the distressed market not being the primary driver is going to continue. And then the current filings are the following factors. Old loan mods, 2005 to 2007. There's some low money down builder transactions done 16 and 18. Your typical normal distress situations, that's always going to kind of be there. And then there's a lot of probates in the 2005, 2007. And I'm still seeing some storm damage houses where I guess things just didn't work out with the insurance claim or they took the insurance claim and basically left. And now the bank is attempting to recoup the house. I hope this information is useful to you. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment on wherever you're watching this or go to the website, swflreia.com. Have a great day.